you scared the life out of I scared you! I swear to God, the next potato bot to sneak up on me is getting a soda can in the butt. <laughs> and listen, I know you technically call them exhaust ports, but guess what? They're still butts. Okay, so far so good. This is a person without taco diarrhea. What's up guys, and welcome back to Budget Cuts 2. So many of you guys might remember that when we last left off, we had defused a bomb, and by diffused, I mean, threw it out a window. And we escaped a train full of murder bots. Problem being, I, I think we got off that train and then ended up in murder bot headquarters? I'm not really sure where we are right now. You are exactly where you should be. Okay, uh, that doesn't really answer my question though. Could you be more descriptive? Where the hell is Winter when you I need don't think her? Know who Jesus. We are yet. The cost optimizer probably thinks we died in the explosion. We need to use that to our advantage. Like I said, we're heading to the motherboard of the cost optimizer. There should be a large door just straight ahead. Then we just need to breeze through the efficiency distribution center and then workforce fabrications. It shouldn't be too dangerous unless we trigger the alarms. And we won't do that, right? Right. Right? Right! Okay, just get off my nuts! Clearly, triggering alarms isn't on my agenda for the day. Right now, I need to find the Efficiency Distribution Center Customs. I'm guessing you're not here to give tours, so I should probably just... go over this fence, maybe? Would you be offended if I teleported over there rather than kept talking to you? Tough titties, because I don't care. I know I give Winta a lot of crap for being vague, but in all reality, I only kind of half listen to her anyway. <laughs> I think she was saying something about finding her way through this place to a motherboard and then, I don't know, screwing with the robots. That's really what this is all about, right? We're just here to screw with the robots and try not to set off any alarms. Just gotta sneaky doodle our way around and are you kidding me right now? Okay, why don't, why don't you just, just come on over here? Yeah, that, that's probably for the best. We're gonna have to get rid of you eventually. No, oh, you gotta be kidding me. No, over, over this way, genius. Where did you go? Ah, hi, hello, whatcha? Well, the bad news is I'm pretty sure Chef Potato Bot over there saw us murder the guards. <laughs> but the good news is he's got about a hundred tacos and nobody to eat them. Don't mind if I do, okay? Can you quietly eat tacos? Shh. Just help me out here, bud, and I won't bury a fork in your eye. I should probably stop eating tacos now. I get the feeling it's gonna be really hard to be stealthy with violent diarrhea, so maybe we'll just take a few defensive tacos with us. You know, some self-defense mechanisms. Hi. Oh no 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 no! What? That they're they're good. You you make tacos to be eaten, right? What do robots use tacos for? Every day is taco day! I, now I know! You look like someone who could really use a taco! I, 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 I mean, I had like a hundred, but... Is there a reason I shouldn't be eating these? Do you serve anything else? You know, cookies and tacos? You must be able to make something else for me. You got even more tacos back here, Jesus Christ! That murder bot is watching me eat tacos right now. <laughs> Do you think they want one? Probably Can I not. You in the chef special? Oh, okay. Is it taco? Oh. <laughs> okay. No, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I bet you weren't. Nobody expects a taco in the eye. We are gonna move on. Is that a microwave or a TV? Oh, that's a TV. All right, what's going on with the news? Kind of curious if they're on to me at all. Winter said that they might think I'm dead. That would be very helpful, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Strange man eats all tacos. Hello, dear robot viewers, and welcome to the Transcorp Daily News. Supervisors at the scene are reporting that the train incident, previously thought to be a random accident, is in fact not an accident at all. This should, of course, have been obvious to everyone, since accidents no longer occur in our highly efficient and accident-free future. 
The person responsible for blowing up the train is, as suspected, the unidentified human ex-employee from the Transcorp offices. The material cost of replacing the train is mind-boggling. Several worker robots were unable to get to work in time, causing severe delays in report approvals and meeting schedules. We will continue to report on this story as it develops. What's with the jets flying by overhead? And why do they have to represent me as having such a huge round head? I don't have a round head! We're gonna have to find a way to defend ourselves that's better than tacos. There's gotta be something around here. The Efficiency Distribution Center Customs. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. I just assumed we would have had to fight our way past the bots, but I guess not. Instead, we can go down here, take a quick look around and make sure we're not jumping to our death. Damn it. There's no way we're getting through here. I knew things were too good to be true. Okay, hang on a minute. Okay, a quick scan of their systems tells me that there is an alternate route to the optimizer but we're going to have to go all the way up to the roof to access it. I have a friend who's nearby. Let me contact him. He'll love to help us out. Of I course. Guess now is a good time to tell you about something that is making me a little nervous. Remember Adam, the psycho from Human Resources? Yeah. Well, I can't find his signal anywhere in the office systems. It looks like he left the building around the same time as we did. I sure hope he didn't follow us here. Yeah, I kind of hope that too. I mean, he and I were pretty close. We were definitely friends for a little while there, but <laughs> I don't think that bug is going to carry forward to this game. Of course we have to fight our way upstairs. Ah! <clears throat> so these self-defense tacos are going to come in handier than I expected. Come to think of it, that robot that I offed was guarding this room. So maybe it and its tiny pig Roomba has something for me. Where are you leading me, little guy? I need weapons. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff here. Uh, nothing I can kill a robot with. There's change. I don't know if loose change will come in handy. Maybe I can use it to buy a drink and then bludgeon them with a drink. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I can get cans of drink. Whatever worth that is. I really don't think I can kill a million dollar murder robot with a can of soda. Hey, Roomba, you're doing a real crap job. No offense, but there's a bunch of garbage all over the place and you're just kind of ignoring it. <laughs> the office worker doesn't have anything for me. That door is locked. This elevator is blocked off, so I'm just completely out of luck. Oh. I might be able to do a little something like this. Yeah. Okay, well, we're one floor higher and no murder bots. That's pretty good. Will you quiet down? Okay, I haven't lost anything, but I definitely found some crap in my pants. Who put that there? You got any weapons back there, bud? Just tape. What's with this place? This seems important. This might be useful. Oh, knives! I was going to say, that looks like something I probably don't want to touch. The one thing that I actually took away from our conversation with Winter was don't activate the alarm. So I think pressing the alarm button is probably not the right course of action. <laughs> Instead, we will arm ourselves and then go pick a fight with two murder bots at once. This doesn't seem like a good idea. I'm just gonna say it right now. I have become one with the tacos. You look like someone who could really use a taco. Will you shut the hell up? You're giving me away. <gasps> like I was saying, I am one with the tacos, and I don't think they've entirely clued in, but I, I kind of want one of their attention. Maybe I should be over there? Or, like, over here? Would that be better? I need solid cover. I feel like this would, wouldn't be a, a bad idea. Okay, okay. Just gonna duck down here real quick. Hi, hi, ah, and ah. Oh, get the hell out of here. That must have been the last guy that tried this. Okay, don't care. Pressing the button. I, I, I'm preparing for something in the elevator. Nope, we are good. Ooh. You scared the life out of me. 
I scared you. I swear to God, the next potato bot to sneak up on me is getting a soda can in the butt. And listen, I know you technically call them exhaust ports, but guess what? They're still butts. Okay, so far so good. Yes, this is a person without taco diarrhea. I have arranged for Robert to meet us in the information dissemination building. He can get us into the offices on the top floor, if he's in a good mood. I hope he's in a good mood. Who is Robert again? A friend? Usually a friend doesn't need to be in a good mood to help out. Oh, um, I have a new mission objective. My hand is telling me things, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Find a new tool. I've got a giant new tool right here, but I don't think that's what they mean. So, do I need to find, like, a key card to get through there? Or do they mean a new tool like one of these? Hi, yes, it's, it's nice to see you. I still don't even fully know, oh, what this thing does. I can see your insides. Yep, there's definitely a butt down there somewhere. But the pig Roomba seems to be perpetually loading. Like, I noticed that poster says, See a suspicious co-worker? Do not let them out of your sight. And then it's got this thing. But I don't really see anything suspicious about you dummies. Not particularly, at least. So I need to find some kind of new tool. Hmm. If I was a tool, where would I be? Does this count? Because it doesn't really feel like it should count. Unless... Yeah, you know what? I take it back. This was definitely very helpful. Hello there. <laughs> Thoroughly appreciated, but I don't think Hello. that's what I'm looking for. How would you like to exchange friendly human conversation? Um, I'm really looking to exchange friendly human tools. I don't suppose you've got one over here, do you, bud? There's gotta be something in here somewhere. It's you, isn't it? You're the one holding out on me. I don't suppose you and your squirmy little mustache have any idea where I could find a new tool, do you? <laughs> Not all that useful. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really trying my best here. It's like a bottle flip, except I'm bad at it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I thought it was dead for a second. Target area. Oh, I can open this door. Well, that makes this way easier. Yeah, it's got a giant blue arrow over it, of course. So is this where they come for entertainment? Holy crap, is this thing a crossbow? Hold on, how 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 do I how to take Whoa? Yes, please. Do I just Okay, switch to you? No, switch to this? I'm guessing I... Oh, yeah. I'll get the hang of it. Hold on. This is the weirdest bow and arrow I think I've ever seen. <laughs> Very interesting. So, if I line it up like this, then I'm assuming... Oh, that's not too bad. Let's see if we can fire off a few others. I, even though I should probably be taking these. I could probably walk over there and get them, I would imagine. This is super finicky. Maybe aim a little bit lower. Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. <gasps> All right. I think I could kill a murder bot or two with these. Hopefully a center mass shot will kill them, because if that yellow section is about the same size as a murder bot eye, then I'm just going to straight up miss the headshot every single time. Fingers crossed. <laughs> It wouldn't be safe to bring this thing into active combat without field testing it first, right? Yeah, it seems to work. <laughs> Sounds good to me, and now I can actually take you with me, and we are good to move. You guys have a good day now, b -b 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 bob and Jim. I think your co-worker is uh, taking a nap. <laughs> it's probably for the best. He looks like he needs it. Uh, okay. Well, now's our time to shine. We've already tested things out. Let's see if we can actually get this to work. Don't move, you stupid, stupid idiot. Ah. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. No! Ah! 
no, 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 you, you can't shoot me, you can't shoot, what's too squirm, oh my god, that went through you again, stop, stop your shooting, your aim is just as bad as me, this is embarrassing, ah, so let's try that again, except for this time it'll hopefully be a whole lot less awkward, maybe, ah, yes, there we go, you gargle my human balls, I was gonna say, if you get up from that, you're definitely uh, not getting up from that. Okay, VR Heights, isn't that just lovely? Oh, let me guess, I need to find my way over there. Does that sound about right to you? Find a path? Sure, why not? What's the worst that could happen doing stuff like this, right? I really need to stop saying that. It always gets worse. <gasps> I was about to say it looks like I can go in there. But I, I don't want to go in there. I think I'm going to go over there. You know what? We can deal with, with that. I just tried to take it out of my back. VR is just screwing with my brain. <laughs> Let's see here. Eight ball corner pocket. Okay, there we go. You good? Yeah, that was right in the gut. Yeah, I was gonna say you better go down. Can I get up there? Eh. Beautiful. Aw, oh, and it breaks the arrow. Let me guess, I can't fire... No. Oh. I mean, I could, it's just gonna piss them off. I kinda wanna try that. I feel like it, it might be able to work. What the hell? Can I just, like, preload them? What was... I don't think this thing likes busted arrows. It doesn't seem to fully understand. Crap, 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 crap. Okay, there, no more screwing around with broken arrows. We're gonna get shot in the face again. Will you stop moving around, you giant mechanical Judas? There we go. <laughs> this thing is so cool. I love archery in video games. This is... Definitely a different kind of archery. Uh, all right. Well, I guess it's up here next. Should probably take a look around. Okay, yep, definitely want to take a look around first. Crap, crap, crap. <laughs> okay. I think this is a good place to hide for now. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Budget Cuts 2, guys. And I'm gonna cower in this janitor's closet for just a little while. No, I, I wanna think things over. We just encountered Adam again. We got a new weapon. Things are really moving along, but we'll pick up here next time. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.